Welcome back. Thanks so much for joining us uh, this afternoon. We are here in the studio with a group of children and young adults, uh, and we're doing a interview with them about an upcoming production that's coming. It's going to be at the Lyric Theater uh, on certain dates. We give you those dates here: Sa Saturday, August fifth and twelfth at two and seven p.m., and also Sunday, August sixth and thirteenth at two p.m. And this is a junior play and the play is called James and the Giant Peach Jr. We are here with just a small portion of the cast and we want to talk to each and every one of them here and, and find out a little bit more about the production. And we'll start off with on my right here. And who are you? I'm a lady, the lady, Bug. Lady Bug? Yes. Okay. And what part do you play in the, in the play? I'm kind of like the mother figure, especially to James, but I just kind of keep the group in check and, you know, I'm just, I'm the mother figure kind of. Okay. You keep everybody, you keep, you keep the rules in check. Make yes. sure everyone obeys the rules. And you are? I am the spider. And um, my character is kind of like arrogant, kind of, and cocky. And she wants everything done mostly her way. Do you have trouble playing that role? Are you arrogant and um, cocky at home? No, I'm not. I'm not at all. But I don't really have trouble playing it at all. Okay. <laughs> how has this production been? How, how much fun has it been? And how, how long and grueling has it been? Oh, it's been so much fun. And it's... It's not that hard at all. It's like a pleasure coming every day and like getting to practice and stuff with all the cast. Okay. It's really fun. Excellent. Want to go down here in front or who are you, sir? Um, well, I am James's dad. I am um, pretty much through things. One of them is James's dad. And okay. these are just prop glasses. Oh, those are prop glasses. I don't really need them to see. You don't need them? Well, why do you have them? Um, because in the movie, the, um, he really does wear glasses. He really glasses. wears glasses. Yeah. So, so you got to kind of mm -hmm. like be like him, mm -hmm. okay? All right. Do you, do you ever carry any money with you on stage? Or uh, no. You don't do anything with money? You don't have any money on you right now? No. No. Okay. All right. And then who is who is this next to you? Um, I'm the mom. You're the mom. Of okay. James. And <laughs> I'm just so nervous. Oh, she, you're so nervous? Well, I am nervous, too. i never because, done this. Well, that's okay. There's that's always that. a first time for everything. We're just going to have fun with this. I want to go back here, and, and who is this? My name is Cheyenne. I play lots of characters, but right now I am a zoo person. You are a what person? A zoo person that runs away from a rhino. Okay. You run away from a rhino. Yeah, this, we this get eaten by a rhino. We get eaten by the rhino. You do? Mm -hmm. Me and her. Well, where's the rhino at? I want to talk to that person. Uh, She's not, oh, there is a, okay, she's not here. She's probably sick of eating children. And who are you? I'm James in the play. Okay. And you're, the, you're James of the Giant Peach, right? So you're the main character. Yeah. Okay. And how has this production been for you? Good so far. Um, I'm liking it because I, I like singing, so yeah. I pretty much am excited about that. So. Uh, do you have a big, a big part? You have to yeah. Memorize a lot of lines. Yep. Do you ever, do you ever mess your lines up? Like. Do you ever, yeah. Yeah. A lot. So, are you getting better at that? Yeah. Okay. So, and so you think people should come out and watch the play? Are you? Uh, yeah. They, they'll have a good time. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about the story? What well, it's about? Maybe a little bit. Not. Don't give it all away. But why should people I'm pretty, come out? I'm what? pretty much an orphan boy, and he goes yeah. on a giant Atlantic journey and stuff okay. like that. So. so the play is all about your journeys? Yeah. Okay. And it's fun. It, it's got laughter. Yep. And it's got music. Yep. Well, let's find out a little bit more about the people that are in the play, and who are you? I'm Aunt Spiker, and I hate everything. I hate children. Oh. But my <laughs> sister Sponge, who couldn't make it, but... um. I don't really like that we have to take care of him, but the good thing is he gets to be our slave, so he does everything for oh, us. Oh, okay. So, that's, <laughs> that's really what your I character. Do. Yes. That's going to be fun watching you. I'm going to slip down here, and we're going from the other end. Okay, and who are you? I am Callie Carraway. Um, I play many different parts, like Willy Wonka, a zoo person, and a Hollywood agent. It, when you have multiple roles like that, do you have a hard time? Do you, do you have to change into different costumes too? Yes, you do have change into many different costumes, but it's not that hard. Okay, all if right. you get the hang of it. And do what now? If you, you get the hang you get of the it. Get the hang yeah. of it. Yeah. Hello. Um, Hi. I am Grasshopper, so I'm James's fatherly figure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you're dressed, this is one of the outfits yes. that you'll be wearing it yes, during the play. Yes, this is the only outfit I wear. Okay. So it's kind of grasshopper. Now, who does the makeup? Um, my mom and I both do. Okay, so everyone does their own makeup mm -hmm. and, and it's yes. it's all fun. You yes, got a sir. lot of green going on. Yes, I thought I you do. might have been sick there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you? I'm Elizabeth Smith. I play lots of parts, but right now I'm dressed as Billy Bobby Cop. And basically, we're kind of crooked like. Crooked cops? Mm hmm, okay. kind of. We go and give the telegram to Spiker and Sponge, like, hey, you got to take care of this child. Okay. And we refuse to give it to them without money. Because so I have a partner, yeah. but she couldn't make it either. So. Yeah, so you're making all the money today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And who are you? Um, I am Lotta Lord. I'm kind of like the Jiminy Cricket to Pinocchio, kind of leading James to the right direction along those lines. Okay. All right. And how are you doing with the play? Very. First time you've been in one? Actually, this is my fourth production okay. in the Lyric Theater. So you're a veteran. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you're learning your lines, having fun, and mm -hmm. everything's just going just peachy. Yes. No pun intended. Yes. I'm Lexi Springer. I play many parts, but today I'm Lucille von Kugelstein. Okay. Yeah. I am a rich, snobby, opera-style New Yorker person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And how do you prepare for your role, being snobby? This hat and this umbrella <laughs> is pretty good. So, okay. So, yeah, I just, I don't know, just kind of get into it. All right. All right, I want to bring in someone that, that's going to tell us a little bit more about the play. And uh, you are? Uh, my name's R.J. Swetman. Um, I'm Jerome Swetman, James' there we go. Uh, James's father. Okay. And you've been working with the production yeah, as, been, as a support team, I guess. Yeah, running sound, things like that. Okay, so how's, how's it going? I mean, the production's been, what, all summer? Yeah, um, actually, they've been in it two weeks. Okay. So it, it's a short... Um, Abbreviated version of the original, I guess. Right, um, for juniors, and at the same time, um, just kind of a decision made later in the summer to fill a spot, and mm -hmm. so they decided to put something together last minute, and they have been doing a phenomenal job okay. as far as practicing and learning their lines. Um, they have over 100 pages of lines to learn, and they've been doing a great job okay. um, just putting the effort in and everything. And this is going to be on the Lyric stage? It is. It'll be at the Lyric, um, and they're doing it uh, the first weekend and second weekend in August, um, August uh, 6th and 7th, um, and then, huh? What does it say? Oh, let's look at this. Let's do the cheat sheet Yeah, thing. there we go. Sorry, 5th and 6th of August, um, and then... Uh, 12th and 13th. That's coming up in two short weeks. Yes. And people need to get their tickets. Do you know how they do that? Um, yes. The best way to do it is go to the Lyric website, um, and from there you can pre-order. It saves you some money if you pre-order the tickets. Um, it's $12 for adults, uh, $10 for uh, students and seniors, mm -hmm. and $8 for children. And you pick your seat, or is it general admission? I believe it's general admission. Okay. So you, you buy a ticket, and then you seat yourself when you come. Yeah. And there's four opportunities. Uh, four opportunities to see this production. Uh, six. Six. Okay. There's two on Saturday, uh, two o'clock, oh, and, and then one on seven o'clock, so, and so then three one on and Sunday. six. Okay, two weeks in all, and we encourage everyone to come out and watch that production, uh, support the Lyric Theater, and also the Arts, Ozark Arts Council, which supports all of the work that you see right here. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, Any, what will people see when they come out? I mean, what kind of play will it be? It's an amazing story of discovery as a young boy um, who is an orphan who's lost both of his parents, um, goes through the process of finding a new family um, out of the most unlikely situation, a bunch of insects that turn into <laughs> humans and um, just they become a family as they go on this journey across the Atlantic Ocean from England to New York City. Right. And it's just a really interesting story, exciting story, and good for everyone, the whole yeah. family. It looks like something that everybody in the area would love to see. Absolutely. Thank you all very much for coming by, and good luck with the production. And everyone, come out and watch. What's the name of the production? James and the Giant Peach. Thanks a lot. <laughs>